Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well this evening. I want to attempt to try to get this video done. So this is going to be a flower box that I'm making out of foam board. And um, I bought my foam board from Michaels, I believe, either Michaels or Hobby Lobby. So I really wanted a very sturdy um, foam board um, because the ready board at the Dollar Tree is a little on the flimsy side. So this is a little bit uh, more sturdy and it is Elmer's. It's foam board from Elmer's. So um, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. And it's the 30 by 40 and then it's 16 inch. So um, I wanted to just try to get something a little bit more sturdy than again what they sell at the Dollar Tree. So um, what you will need to do is cut five sections out of your uh, foam board and I've already pre-cut these sections to kind of get through this video a little bit quicker so you will need to cut two sections and I will give you the measurements for each one so you'll need to cut two sections here um, and they should be exactly the same and I will post the um, measurements up right now okay and what you have to basically do is just kind of mark it with a pen. Make sure that you have your ruler and that you take your time marking the sizing for this. And when you get ready to cut it with a X-Acto knife or with a um, box cutter, you want to make sure that when you're cutting the, um, the board that you hold the ruler in place exactly where you marked it that you hold it down very firmly and you cut against the ruler so you're going to be cutting the board very very deeply against the ruler that way you can make sure that you have a straight cut or as straight as you can possibly get with this foam board it's going to be a couple little mistakes here and there because of the nature of the material but it should be pretty it, it, it should be pretty decent. You should be able to get it pretty close. So you will need two of these. And then you will need a third piece. And this third piece is going to go underneath. This is going to be the bottom of the box. And I will post the size of this. And then you will need, lastly, the two smaller pieces. And these two smaller pieces are the side panels. They should be exactly the same size as this third piece right here. So the bottom portion of the box, the sides should also be exactly the same size, except for it will be cut shorter, okay? So it's going to be the same width, all right? But the length is going to be different. And you need to cut two of these exactly the same. So this is the bottom. We are cutting it the exact same width, but the length is different. So, so you have the side panel, you have your bottom panel, and um, you have your right and left panel. So there should be five pieces, okay? So this is your box right here. All right, so once you get your measurements together, again, use an X-Acto knife or a um, box cutter and make sure you have a very good ruler, preferably one that's metal um, or a very good sturdy wood ruler. And that's gonna help you to get as accurate, uh, get a cut as accurately as possible. Once you're done cutting the five pieces, now you want to go ahead and assemble it and I haven't done a mock-up of this to know exactly how to do this, so I may deviate a little bit. But um, I'm going to attempt to try to bond these pieces together with some hot glue, hot Gorilla Glue. And um, if I'm not really successful with that, then I'll try the E6000, but I'm going to try the Gorilla Glue first. Um, so I can see if I can get an instant bond off of this. All right, so I am going to use my E6000 to try to bond this foam board together. And let's see how successful I am with that. 
get my E6000 going here. It may take a minute because this thing always dries up on me. So once I add my E6000, I'm also going back through it with my hot glue gun with my Gorilla Glue Sticks and I'm just getting in the creases and um, the back of the foam board just to secure it a little bit more. So um, kind of waiting for my glue gun to warm up just a little bit because it came out of the extension cord. And this what's great about this is none of this is going to show so you can get as messy as you want to get and I'm just holding this up to my fan right here so it can kind of cool down and um, so this is just one section I'm going to go ahead and put the other side on now Okay, so, so far I've been doing pretty good putting this together using E6000 and then once just to kind of hold it um, for a few minutes um, and then going over it with the uh, hot glue using the go uh, Gorilla Hot Sticks and I am putting the uh, hot glue inside and then I'm turning it around and I'm putting it on the outside as well and again you can get as sloppy as you want to get because none of this stuff is going to show. So you can really dig in and put as much glue as you want to um, for extra reinforcements. I have the three panels together. So I have the two sides and the bottom. So now all I need to do is add my two corners. And I'll be doing the same method, the E6000 first and then going over it with the hot glue gun. All right, people. So I am back and I have... Um, hot glue this thing into oblivion so I have got that done the box is complete so now we can get to the fun stuff which is actually decorating it and then filling this with flowers um, I did take an extra step and I used some just some regular packing tape and um, I used the packing tape all over the bottom of the box, um, around the bottom of the box, and around the top of the box, just to kind of really secure it and uh, make sure that it just stayed uh, nice and sturdy. And uh, so we've got some raw material to work with here. So now we are ready to go ahead and start covering this box. So um, what I'm gonna be doing is covering it with some satin fabric and um, First, I'm going to cover the bottom, so I'm going to turn this around. All right, everyone, so I am back. Um, the box is done, and now what I'm going to do is start to cover this with some sequence fabric um, that I got on sale from Joann's, and it was like 70% off. So this is the fabric. It's very pretty. It's a black background with silver round sequence on it. Super pretty, very glamorous. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover the bottom of this box with some black fabric. And then um, the rest of the box will be done. And again, this very beautiful silver sequence fabric. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and use my hot glue gun. And um, attach the black fabric to the bottom of the box. So I have attached the um, back black fabric to the bottom of this box. And um, it doesn't have to be super neat because it's going to get covered up anyway. It's just, you know, make sure that it is as smooth as you can get it um, on the bottom. And again, it's the bottom of the box, so it doesn't really matter. 
So, um, again, just make sure that you um, attach it with your hot glue and that is pretty secure. And then uh, what you may want to do, and here's one more step that I want to incorporate into this tutorial. What you may want to do is cut another piece. And as you can see, I've just cut a spare piece and it pretty much matches the inside of the box. It's, you maybe want to cut it so that's a little snug when it goes inside of the foam box. And uh, what you want to do is kind of push this down in here and make it a little tight, a little snug. See that? So that you can have, um, this is a pretty nice size box, nice height. And we're going to put our foam in here, our flower foam in here. We don't want it to be all the way at the bottom because then you'll be using way too much flower foam. So what I've done is I've just pushed another extra piece inside so that we're not using a bunch of flower foam trying to uh, bring the foam all the way up to the top. You'll, you're already going to have to use about four or five pieces of flower foam for this box because it's a very nice size. And again, this is for a sweetheart table, so um, this would look amazing on a 6 inch or 8 inch sweetheart table, preferably 8 inch. And um, so I have just pushed another piece of board in here just to kind of make the foam sit closer up to the top. So this is what that looks like. And I think that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So just want to show you that step before we get into covering the box with the sequins fabric, which is what we're going to do right now. So I have a couple of sticks of hot glue, and I'm going to go ahead and um, I've already pre-cut my fabric to the length of the box. Um, and it will wrap around to the corners. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this, but um, I'm so excited about it because... It looks amazing already. So what I'm going to do is um, get my fabric prepped in the correct direction. And what I've done is I've folded over the, um, the bottom of the fabric and ironed it so that I would have a nice uh, even um, crease at the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of position it and start to um, use my hot glue gun to glue the fabric down to the box. get to the corner I'm going to cut a um, just ease the fabric by cutting it in the corner um, this is how I did it I just basically cut it right there in the corner so that it will lay a little bit nicer when I glue it down and it won't be so puffy right here in the corner all right so the front is done and it looks very very beautiful um this requires just a tiny bit more work than the you know wrapping this whole thing with diamond wrap but the effects are just amazing so and it's probably going to be a little bit hard to tell by the camera because it is sequence but um the sequence looks fabulous so got the front done and now we're going to do the back okay same process take your time Here's the fabric again. I've already just basically ironed a crease on the bottom so that I can line it up on the bottom straight. And um, yes, so I'm going to go ahead and attach the back. All right. 
right everyone so the box is completely wrapped in this beautiful sequence fabric it's at, it's done uh oh all the sparkle and bling coming off of this thing is amazing so i'm going to try to do a close-up because it's really hard to photograph sequence so uh, again what i did was i basically just took the fabric i took my time and i attached it to the foam box with uh, my hot glue gun and I'm going to try to see if I can get you a close-up here so you can actually see how beautiful this thing looks and again it's really hard to photograph sequence um, because of the reflective qualities of it I guess just doesn't really register that well on a um, camera I'll try to bring it up a little bit closer but here it is just gorgeous and this thing is beautiful. I mean, this is a bling, serious bling, glamorous uh, flower box that, again, you would use for a sweetheart table. Um, so this is a sweetheart centerpiece. And so I'm going to pull it back. And um, it looks fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And again, it's silver sequence on a black background and I covered underneath the box with black fabric because it didn't matter but that worked out really well I didn't have to waste a lot of sequence trying to cover the bottom because it wasn't necessary and then what we're going to do I'll try to pull back now okay yes here we go so what we're going to do now is go ahead and finish embellishing this block now we get box excuse me we're going to finish embellishing the box and that's the fun part and I'm going to use some black satin ribbon. And I'm also going to use a little bit of diamond wrap from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do is only use the black satin ribbon on the front um, just to save on ribbon. But you could take the fabric and wrap it all the way around the box. But for this particular tutorial, I don't want to use up all my satin fabric during this tutorial. So... I don't know. I might do it because this might be a display piece um, for a business I'm thinking about starting up. So I probably will just go ahead and use this black fa uh, satin fabric, um, ribbon, excuse me. And I, I believe this is two and a half, two and one fourth inch. And I'm going to wrap it all the way around the box. And then I'm going to use a little bit of diamond wrap on the front. All right. So I have attached my satin ribbon. To the box and um, I think it looks really great um, and I decided to just go ahead and attach it all the way around so I think that looks good and then what I decided to do since I didn't have that much ribbon left is to this is all that's left um, that was on that roll so I will have to make another run to Walmart for some black satin ribbon um, I had a large buckle slider. I love these things. You guys know I like to use this a lot. And I have them in different sizes. And this actually came from the Dollar Tree. This was on, they were selling some uh, cake ribbon um, probably early this year. And I bought a whole bunch of them. And they had these rhinestone sliders on them. Um, so I took it off of there and put it on this ribbon. And I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and attach it to the box in this manner and again I will glue this down and uh, I kind of like that I think it looks pretty cool so we'll see I'll either do it this way or the traditional way of going uh, just across the box so we'll see um, but I will be attaching this in whatever direction I decide to attach it in with my hot glue gun okay all right, everyone, so here is the um, finished look on this foam box, and it is just absolutely amazing. And I decided not to over embellish because this sequence is so popping. And again, you can't really see it with the camera, but my goodness, at night, this would be amazing. So I decided not to, um, not to over embellish. It looks great exactly the way it is. I did decide to run it from the top to the bottom, and then I put a uh, pearl, um, just a little pearl um, embellishment right there, and, and, you know, just to add a little extra something, and I think that looks 
really good. Let me pull back because, again, I never know if this camera's in focus or not because if you find it, it doesn't let me know if it's in focus. So I really need a new camera. But anyway, I'm going to chug along with the one that I got, my little 12 megapixel camera. <laughs> but um, so this is it. And um, I think it's gorgeous. Let me give you the 360. We're going to put some flowers in here in a minute. Um, I know that black isn't really a traditional color for weddings, but a lot of people are using black and red, black and pink. Um, you know, people are just uh, stepping out of the box and doing different things for their wedding. This is the bottom. So really nice. I think this came out awesome and it's a pretty long box. Um, I need to get my ruler. And, um, but I'll probably flash up the size, uh, in the video, but it looks, it looks like I, I made like a 20 inch box, I think. Okay. So I have my ruler here and I've got, uh, 18 and then let me mark it with my hand and then another, Ooh, I say 10 and a half. So 28 point uh five inches so 28 and a half inches this box is almost 29 inches so um this is a really really nice box um that you can use again one more time <laughs> as a uh sweetheart centerpiece now what we're going to do is go ahead and put the flowers in here so this is about a 30 inch box and if you are working with a eight inch table uh, or a long table if you're doing a really really long table um, this is perfect so we've got our extra cardboard in here and what we're going to do is I've already put the flowers on here because I've been talking too much so this tutorial is way too long but we are going to use about see here one two three three and a half so three and a half inches of foam that I got from the Dollar Tree and I have already put the flowers in here just to save time so all right and I hot glued them all together and then I went ahead and added my flowers and most of the flowers I got from the Dollar Tree and the rest of the flowers I got from Rose's discount store because they also have really nice flowers and most of their flowers are not more than five dollars a bundle some of them you can get for $3 a bundle. So I've got two uh, creamy roses in the front and two creamy roses in the back. Okay, so you see how they straddle each other. I also have some lavender in here. So I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, about six or seven lavenders. I have them spread out in here. You can do this any way you want. I have some spread out towards the end. Um, and then what I did to kind of like really make this nice and full is I used some Dollar Tree, um, hydrangeas. I've been using this a lot in my tutorials recently. So this is what it looks like. And I just basically just cut them off the stem and I used this as filler. So the, um, the Dollar Tree hydrangeas is what, is what I use as filler and put this floral arrangement in go ahead and stick this in um, and I believe I was working mainly from I think this is the front so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in here and already you can see how pretty this looks and it's a nice contrast to the black because you have all these, you know, really pretty light colors. I am having some technical difficulties, people. <laughs> I need some new bulbs for my, um, for my lighting that I got last year that really sucks. So, <laughs> anyway, so here it is. This is the top and it is just really, really lush. So I am going to use these um, LED pillow candles from the Dollar Tree. And um, I'm going to use two of them. So one will go right here. I made some space for one of them. And
and then the other one will go right here so it's going to be uh, an arrangement where you're going to be using two of these LED pillar candles and um, yeah so there you have it and I think it really looks really really nice especially with the uh, candles in them and um, I'll probably take the camera off the tripod so you can see it a little bit better and then I also made a smaller one to this as well um, to kind of go with it and I'll show you that okay everyone so this is the completed project it's absolutely done and this is your beautiful sequence um, sweetheart table box it is 30 inches long um, so it's pretty big trying to get it all with in camera view and then I made a smaller box to go with it and um, that also has a little LED candle um, that I got from the Dollar Tree so that has a candle in it as well and um, I think it is really pretty um, and very very dramatic again it's pretty hard to see sequence on camera but it is absolutely gorgeous and I'm going to try to get up a little bit closer and I have the LED candles up at the top as you can see that and they are flickering away you just can't see it because of the lighting but if I pull back So you can see how that looks and then of course the accompanying smaller candle holder that goes with it and so I, I think it came out awesome didn't take a whole lot of time and you can put any type of flowers in here you want it could be all you know ivory flowers blush flowers whatever you know um, I wouldn't put real flowers in here um, unless you were going to put a container in there a plastic container inside to hold the water you can do that um, yeah you can do that you just have to put a plastic container in there to make sure that it doesn't leak out into the foam onto the foam board of course and so this is it this is it guys um, I will just you you can see uh, see a better picture of it um, I'll probably try to do a preview in daylight um, and maybe you'll be able to see the sequence a little bit better so this is it and um, again I hope you enjoyed this video and as always don't forget to rate and subscribe if you haven't subscribed um, you may want to do so I hope you do and um, as always don't forget to hit the notification bell so you are notified when I upload videos all right take care bye bye